What's up everybody, it's Peter and welcome to our channel. And today I'm gonna give you some update on my one wheel GT repair. Uh, pretty much if you saw my previous videos, you know what's going on. If not, there's no big deal, I can repeat myself. Pretty much my GT did perform very well up to a thousand mile. And right after when I pass a thousand mile, it's like on a thousand five mile or so, uh, the wheel lost torque. Pretty much at 100% uh, ch charged battery. The wheel perform like it has only five, ten or so uh, percentage. Uh, very very under power. You not can go over a five mile or so. And if you try to push it, will nose dive and you will crush it. I contacted Fisher Motion, tried get a warranty repair because the wheel was less than a year old. Uh, Fisher Motion treat me like dirt. Uh, going, they tried find it all kind of excuses not to perform a warranty repair. First time, the first thing they said is, is uh, over a year according to date of purchase. And when I then when I tell them guys, I mean take a good look on the uh, date of purchase again, you will see the wheels only 11 month old. How can be over a year? Anyway, uh, like I said, uh, they they tried find it any excuse not not to work on. I mean not to fix under warranty and pretty much I give up on that I decide okay if future motion I was gonna try it repair it on my own and pretty much uh, I start troubleshooting uh, I open it controller box I found that there are a couple booby traps with loose connection and quite few people uh, they do have same problem then I open it uh, battery box also both both connector was loose and uh, this control connector or another one, it kind of looks like it was been uh, overheat already a couple times or so. Uh, pretty much I did fix the connectors and then I'm going to show you how, how I modified to make sure it's a future proof. I pull it out battery. Since battery perform, since wheel doesn't have power, it doesn't have a torque, I decided, well, let me check to see, to make sure it's not a controller issue. Let me pull it out battery and I'm going to try this battery on my VESC board. board. VESC board is good because you can throw any kind of battery up to 80, 85 volts or so, you know. And this is a 75 volt, it's gonna handle no problem. And as soon as I connected, I make extension cable, I connected uh, this battery, it behaves same way. Full charged battery, but almost uh, maybe 10% torque from remaining. You travels like five miles or so, maybe less than that. You try to accelerate it. I mean, you you not can go anywhere. Uh, pretty much, I decide. Well, that means it's a battery problem, not a controller. I rip it uh, plastic wraps. I did since battery was fully charged, uh, fully charged or up to ninety percent charge uh, from uh, original configuration with. Uh, uh, I mean, on a uh, on my GT. And that was a good thing, I did charge it on a GT before I take it apart. That case, before I start, I start discharging battery, and in this case I will test it also as well as a balancing board to see how well cells it performs. And actually, uh, the numbers, I mean, after year old, uh, I mean, after year one year used, 1000 mile on a battery, and you guys have to, uh, I mean, consider about it's a heavy mileage. I mean, I'm a heavy guy. Uh, I mean, at that time I was uh, 275, 277 or so, and that that's a heavy, heavy mile on that battery. And according by numbers, the whole cells looks really fine. I mean, it's uh, the battery is uh, 8,000 milliamp, and in average around 75, uh, 7,500 uh, milliamps, which is good. It makes uh, 94, 95 percent life remaining or capacity remaining that's mean the battery i mean that's each cell and when you cycle it it's a two cell per bank i did use it my fancy discharger i discharge it uh with 20 amp uh, continuous load and all cells all numbers shows really really good i mean for for what it is and then i decided well since all cells i know is good most likely the welding it's not that well. I look it closely and some of the welds uh, uh, it looks all right. Well, right now I'm going to show you that's not original way how uh, welds looks because I double it with my uh, new uh, welder. 
be before it was four four spots only now it's eight spots in each cell uh, welded really really good from from uh, not only from this side from this side I did take it battery I mean and also inside I welded each battery uh, very well also I double it uh, uh, positive negative leads it used to be a single metal and it's a zero point uh, 15 I double it to, to make sure it capable go uh, supply it amperage I mean it did work a thousand mile even with single metal but now with do, uh, double metal it should it should uh, provide much better well now what, what it's gonna do is gonna put it battery back in a battery box pretty much as gonna try it uh, put it back everything the way it was before and then I have to reset it uh, error corrupted memory and charge it again and I will uh, uh, try it write it see how it performs if the battery performs the way it should be that means I'm good everything it turns the way it should be and uh, oh one one more thing I, I forgot to mention when I cycle it I also did uh, uh, I did tested resistance um, every bank and they're all identical maybe in a couple hundreds or so slightly different but they're all same before even cycling I thought I was gonna see a one dead bank one or two and uh, that's that's how you can explain the battery losing I mean the battery will not provide amperage to the board itself but for my surprise everything turns very well in a 50 milliamps different which is plenty acceptable and uh, battery uh, the cells itself it looks good i also ordered a new cells same cells and and that and that's a really nice cells it's a p42a right uh, let's see yeah p42a uh, uh 2170 series i mean 21700 series it's a really nice cell and it should it should it should work most likely like i said I, i'm thinking and that was a broke uh, halfway broke uh, weld and probably did cause that issue uh well guys uh i was gonna like i said assemble it put it together calibrate it and we will see if it's running wish me luck uh pretty much that's all i got for this video i hope it was kind of interesting enjoyable if you guys did enjoy it thumb up if you don't want to miss any future videos subscribe i will be really appreciate Thank you.